All right, that last attempt recording with OBS went seems to have gone pretty well. Oh, wow, I haven't actually bought this one at all. Yeah, the other ones I poked around on my own because I was pretty curious. Please, Lance, let's come down. I think it was that one, yeah. Ground shaking again. At least we're outside this day. I can do this. This is another one of those ancient tank-like machines. Was this one built by ancient cats, too? I don't care who built it. Well, I know who will unbuild it. I'm referring to myself, of course. I forgot about this happy, fun, snowy theme. So what happens when you don't play a game for... It's been too long. Strict time limit for this one. I gotta... So are all these bosses tanky? I wonder if there's like a... Oops. Reason for that, or just... Yeah. It'd be cool if there was like a second underlying... Oh crap. Nope, not gonna take that. A second underlying plot thread, like with Kirby games, but I kind of don't expect that. If you never really noticed, with recent Kirby games, I guess starting maybe with... Sort of starting with, um... Well, I guess the precedent has been set since Kirby's Dreamland 2. But, um, sort of the more modern Kirby things, they, the, the thing they do is... You know, the main storyline plays out like a regular happy Kirby game, and you know, maybe there's... You know, some elements of, you know, the darker, creepier stuff, like Maglore going crazy and stuff, but only when you play the extra mode or, like, the higher difficulty content, like Meta Nightmare, and then you read the find the uh, boss descriptions on the pause screen, and stuff is actually really screwed up. What the? That pattern got way nerfed, I, I can guarantee that. Like I said earlier, this is this is on normal, so I'm sure that pattern got a pretty major nerf compared to what it is on Heavenly. I wonder how Matt set up the difficulty. Like, is everything designed on Heavenly first and then cut down? I would assume that would be how. But sometimes it feels like it's normal, and then there's like normal is the way everything's designed, and then the other difficulties just kind of amp up the bullet production. Yes, that's that's the way Hitogata Hapa seems to kind of be. Doomsday. It is harder, but generally speaking, the Alamande, the hard mode, is mostly as difficult as the hardest difficulty. It just looks a little showier. Oops. Um, I was talking about something else, wasn't I? Um. Oh yeah, the Kirby thing. If you don't realize that Kirby has a cannon and like grim stuff hidden in it now. I have a good article on my website, well, in my opinion, it's pretty good. Um, Kirby has a cannon and it's horrifying on SirTapTap.com. Just search SirTapTap Kirby horrifying and that should bring it up on Google. My site doesn't get crazy traffic, but I, I do take solace in that it's pretty easy to find my articles on Google. Uh, if As long as, you know, you're searching for the right topic. I, I don't have, you know, clickbait for every possible search term, but if somebody out there is searching for Kirby Cannon, they're probably going to find that. I was kind of a lot more worried over search engine optimization than I should have been. Like, with my Axiom Verge guide, um, I mean, people found it quite easy, and people still find it. It, it was really just a matter of being the first, being the best, and, you know, I did a little bit of promotion to actually get people to use it, but, uh, as long as you're not in the blacklist and you know you have good content, it does seem like you can get found, so it's a little worried with how stuff like that would work out. Unfortunately, some sites like IGN drop so many diamonds, we're gonna be rich! Um, hate to break it, you but kids have been mining kids have been mining a lot of diamonds lately. The prices have been kind of dropping a lot. What are you saying? Explain it to me like I'm five. <laughs> They're worthless now. My life is a lie. Yeah, diamonds are kind of just very compressed carbon. Whatever. There's actually an article, or there was this article about why aren't millennials buying diamonds? And somebody tweeted back, because I work in a grocery store. 
I don't think that Huge Wasp was actually the Queen, guys. I think there's something even bigger controlling the exact horde. Haven't I suffered enough? What could be worse than a giant wasp? I guess you're about to find out. Oh. Um. What was I talking about? Yeah, the website's been pretty satisfying to do. Oh. I'm not gonna take a hit that easy or that early. That thing's pretty sad. Oh my god, it's just. <laughs> it's a giant spider bee. Amazing. Spider bee? Spider bee. Does whatever a spider bee does. I should have I should have expected the spiders. Uh oh. That wasn't smart. I'm on a pretty strict timeline here, so I'll probably I'll probably butt out after one more boss. I only got about 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes before the next before my live stream. I was getting excited and so I'm trying something new. I'm finishing up the let's play that I semi-abandoned, so I wanted to get in here with a couple videos real quick. Actually, speaking of that Epic Metal Fantasy V video stuff, if you have an idea for what I should do, maybe I guess I could maybe stream it. I, don't know, I would either need to stream a lot, or I would end up playing it pretty slowly, though. Right. I guess let me know what you would like to see regarding Epic Battle Fantasy V. So, I want to do something, but ah, damn it! It's not entirely sure what. This guy was reminding me of Pokemon for some reason. I mean, random animal chimeras are pretty Pokemon-esque. But I'm so glad the new- the, the, everybody was like, Haha, the new Pokemon's just a sandcastle, lol. And they came out with a Pokedex entry for it, and what the sandcastle does is- it's a ghost sandcastle. And it forms like a whirlpool in the sand and sucks things up into its lair, and then it absorbs the life- their life force, and then it turns them into the little sand pile Pokemon. It's horrible, and it's awesome. Like, ghost types always have really good, um, well, usually, have really good descriptions in their Pokedex. Ghost and dark types are some of my favorites. My one complaint about Gen 7 so far is we don't seem to be getting many dark types. Like, we have the smug-ass meow, but I think that's about it. We have more fairies and dragons already, which is just silly. The stuff of my nightmares is real. I'm a broken shell of a human being right now. You'll be alright, Natalie. At least it's not a tentacle monster. True. Maybe I have faced worse. I need to get myself under control. Queen of Nightmares! I just noticed that name. Alright, we can do one more. For you, like a lava octopus. You're on. Volcano up ahead. This could be the source of all the fire and lava. We finally found it. Let's smash it up and fix the land. It's no volcano. It's moving. That's a... Volcano station? I I'm pretty excited for Gen 7. I, uh, I'm not too big on the Pokemon Go stuff, but it uh, doesn't, doesn't really affect the mainline Pokemon at all, so I don't have too many complaints either. I do feel the... The pricing scheme seems pretty error, but most people seem to just grind the hell out of it, and I mean, that's what you want to do all day, I, I guess, whatever. I did think it was kind of funny, um, Nintendo stock had a huge boom after it released, 
And then it dropped again, like not below what it was before, but uh, they re a bunch of investors realized, oh, Nintendo actually doesn't have very much to do with this. Because, you know, it's Niantic and uh, Game Freak. Game Freak can semi do what they want with Pokemon. Uh, you're not gonna see, you know, Pokemon Coliseum 3 for, you know, PlayStation 4 or anything. Like, Nintendo still has to okay their use of Pokemon, but they pretty much do their own thing beyond that. Sort of. Like, they still get published and funded by Nintendo usually, but, um... Nintendo doesn't have 100% control over that either. And Game Freak's been doing some non-Pokemon stuff t lately too. There was like, I think Harmonite was them, and then um, Tempo the Badass Elephant, which I actually did a video for, and now they have Giga Crusher, I think. They actually self-published uh, Giga Crusher, Giga Wrecker or something. Um, it's like this physics-based game. It's an early access on, uh, on Steam. I did buy it because I'm not I'm not too into the early access thing. But um It's interesting to see him branch out. I still love my Pokemons, but uh oh. I think most devs gonna make at least, you know, a couple of series. And I, I think I think it helps to recharge, you know, to have multiple projects to work on, even if you you really love something, I think it can really help to uh, work on a few different things. So I, I kind of feel burnout at work when I have to work on the same thing too much. It doesn't really entirely matter what that is, I just... Sometimes I need a break and do something different. Whoa. Orders are stored. I'm so relieved. Maybe it's turtles all the way down. We fit in one more. Yeah, we can fit in one more. As long as I don't die. If I die, is that a is that a mecha wasp? What's this? Another new product? They haven't announced this one yet. Stay uh, home, buddy. It's just a toy. Drones are not toys! If you knew the science, then maybe I would take your opinion seriously. Just, I must witness this glorious machine for myself. Maybe I'll be the first one to post a review of it. I like glance geeking out over things. More game devs need to ha er, like, fiction writers in general need to let their characters geek out over stuff. Something that's usually pretty endearing without being, like, annoying and stuff, in my opinion. It's one of the... Like, it never feels too tropey or lame. It just... As long as you make it feel like a genuine sort of interest... It just feels very... I don't know. It feels very pure and very human. It's like... We don't see enough of that. We don't see enough people, like, just... Earnestly enjoying things. Like... What the hell is wrong with us? You should, it, it's okay to like things. You should like things. I want you to like things. That's, that's what this channel is for. This channel is so you, you. I hope you find some things you like, and maybe you play them. Maybe you give them money. Maybe you play this. It, it's good. It's like it's something I've been trying to make more clear on my channel. It's like it's sort of a place to find, you know, some of the more underrated, obscure, whatever games that are really great. And just a little outside of the norm, or maybe a lot outside the norm. But, uh, it's still definitely worth a look, and it's kind of hard to get eyes on for a lot of these things. I mean, in this particular game, like, Epic Battle Fantasy stuff, um, pretty good following because of all of the free Flash games, but you still don't hear a lot of buzz about it from, like, I, th I think it's pretty underrepresented in terms of, like, media coverage versus, um, amount of people that actually play it, because, I mean, it gets crazy good reviews in Steam. What, what are we doing here? I guess I'm, I should be grazing more for points, but wow. 
Okay. Um, I'm not sure I've ever seen like a major site review any epic battle passes up or anything. And Flash still has that stigma, which is stupid. But huh? these. See, this boss definitely has a theme. I kind of like it when bosses have interesting themes for. You know, this is the boss that does X or Y or whatever. There you go. <laughs> Ted broke back. Shorter than I expected. Wrecked, shrecked, disrespect. Hehe. <laughs> Robot insects don't bother me at all. I guess that's an accomplishment for me. Why do you all have to destroy this beautiful hardware? I could have had so many uses for a mecha wasp drone. These drones are bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> Alright. Well, next episode should be the last for. Wait, I guess. The, well, the survival levels aren't really too interesting to show off. Yeah, I think I'll get to those that pretty soon, and um, I'll have to think about what to do for Epic Battle Fantasy V. And I'm gonna actually go back. I think I might have to practice a bit first, but I was gonna do videos for the original couple of Epic Battle Fantasies because they're a lot shorter. Um, I was actually never that good at them though. I don't. I actually don't think I've ever beaten either of the first two. Um, I did beat the heck out of three though. Um, but yeah. Stay tuned, and I'll definitely actually finish this one up sometime. And if there's any Let's Play series that, like, was a game that I actually really liked and just didn't end up finishing that seemed like I did want to finish, feel free to call me out on that. I'll, I'll try to finish some of these up. I've got a few in mind, like, they're more recent, but I'm definitely going to get back to Song of the Deep, Headlander, uh, Diaries of Spaceport Janitor. There's just a lot of stuff that ended up getting sort of caught up in. Yeah, thanks for watching, as always. 